What do you think of this? <laughs> you like it? Excuse us, please. Sure, talk amongst yourselves. Amber, why are you here? Because Johnny's lawyer said I put in the performance of a lifetime, which isn't great because nobody believed you. Meanwhile, he's the one that convinced the world that he has scissor fingers. What? Nobody actually thought he was Edward Scissorhands. I married him because I thought he had scissors for fingers. What? You, you did? And do you know he doesn't really own a chocolate factory? You believe that too? And this didn't even come out in the trial, but also... He's not a real pirate. Amber, you thought you were marrying a chocolate factory owning pirate with scissor hands? Yeah, he fooled us all. They were movie roles. Either Johnny Depp is a master manipulator or I don't know what acting is. B. I'm pretty sure it's B. My dog stepped on a B. How am I way back? Sorry. I can't hear you. Aquaman. Attack or a triggering event where I relive the trauma. Even if I'm training to do my movie, for instance, I'm training for Aquaman, a combat scene and a trigger happens, I have a meltdown and have to deal with that. The, the, the crew I work with have to deal with that because of the damage I walk around with every single day. Atlantis. I think the fuck not. I ain't going nowhere with you, you sneaky ass bitch. Get up out of here, dirty. The Amber Heard Aquaman 2 story continues to evolve and de-evolve and evolve. And I'm starting to wonder if maybe Amber Heard kind of uh, likes the attention with it and is using it as PR. And maybe Warner Brothers is doing the same thing, which is why they have not actually came out and gave an official statement because everybody's talking about Aquaman 2. Now, Just Jared said the other day she was cut out. She was being recast completely. But apparently that may not be true. Amber Heard actually, or her representatives, actually responded to that and said that's inaccurate, insensitive, and slightly insane. The rumor mill continues as it has from day one, uh, and uh, they're saying they're, they're not cut out of it. Now Just Jared has updated their website, the original article, to say uh, that she sources say she may not have been cut, still has a small role. Other sources say she is being recast. So nobody really knows until Warner Brothers actually says it. I would not blame the average person for looking at this and how it's been covered. I'm just really curious if anybody else has noticed that she thinks we are the dumbest people in the world because we're average. She kept talking to the jury and explaining all these big words. There was at one point she explained what a chase lounge was to them as if they wouldn't know what a chase lounge is. Ma'am, just because we're not on TV and we're not in movies, doesn't mean that we don't have real life experience. Actually, the average person is probably your worst nightmare because the average person has been through so much more shit than you have ever been through. And we don't need an acting class to learn to cry when telling our traumas. Stop talking to America and the world like we're fucking idiots. You think that this has been fair? If Amber was the villain, then Johnny Depp was often portrayed as the hero. For the man who convinced the world he had scissors for fingers? Are you trying to gaslight me into thinking that I thought his scissor fingers were real? Are you trying to gaslight me, Amber Heard turd? Is that why that you threw the bottle at him? To, to see if it was a prosthetic finger and there, if there was schizo rizzers under there? Yes, but not funny, haha. -ha. Funny, weird. She is definitely getting paid. One source is telling me 8 million, who I tend to believe, who has knowledge of this. I also have another source who I also believe that says there's no way they would have paid her more than 1 million. We will find out. We will find out. But I assure you, this is not her last interview. 
Definitely not. And she is definitely going to have a price tag whenever it comes to her interviews. For those that did not know, when she used to speak about domestic violence during the height of the Me Too movement, she charged $33,000 for every single speaking engagement that she was invited to. So if that doesn't tell you and scream, I'm this little victim, I don't know. What the price. fuck is this? Closing arguments, the deaf lawyer said, called your testimony the performance of a lifetime and said you were acting. What do you say to that? Says the lawyer for the man who convinced the world he had scissors for fingers. God, she's a gift that keeps on giving, right? <laughs> I keep thinking, all right, let's move on to something else. But so many more crazy things keep happening. So I had so many requests for us to keep going. So here we are doing another one. Uh, if you like it, leave your comments below. I definitely read them all. Thank you so much for being so kind and supportive. I appreciate it. And look for all kinds of, you know, lots more stuff coming out. More than just like that. Working through the movie Bridesmaids. If you like that, I just worked through Dirty Dancing. So I'm very excited to post that very soon. Be on the lookout for that. If you want to further support the channel, I actually have a second channel. It's just called RHR. You can find it on my main page here on this channel at the very bottom. If you scroll to the bottom, you'll see um, my second channel. Click on it, hit the subscribe button. I eventually want to make it into a travel channel. So check that out. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day and take care of yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.